What is going on, Coaster Spotters? This is Alex, and we're back at Hershey Park, and Storm Runner is finally back. This is actually my second visit. Had a visit about two weeks ago. Didn't go well, didn't film, but uh, all is better now that Storm Runner is finally back. My favorite coaster here at Hershey Park still. And uh, one of my favorite launch coasters ever. So I'm extremely excited to finally ride this. It opened Friday, today is Tuesday. This is my first chance to finally ride it. Uh, also a little programming note, Ariel and I will be back at the park this weekend. I think this is gonna be mostly about Storm Runner. Lots of shots, lots of video, all that stuff. But it's gonna be a great day here. A little busy, but I mean, Storm Runner's back. Like, Storm Runner is back. So excited. Is our first wait gonna be like today? Pretty much non-existent. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, we're gonna see how many times we're gonna ride this thing today, I think. I think that's what we need to do. And we get all these new views, a trailblazer, do lots of, oh, it's, it's great. And I will be extending my season pass because, uh, well, I can't quit Storm Runner. I remember incorrectly how much I love that thing. No way did I. Got the second seat because uh, that one gets blocked a lot, so usually you can jump right on, which I did, and that uh, was fantastic. I typically like it in the back more, so we're gonna go do that next, but uh, uh, still just as good as it ever was, and then more, since I've ridden it in so long, three years since it's been. So, uh, just one more thing we have to do is ride more and we'll check back in later. ride and yeah I still enjoyed it in the back more that first drop the top hat absolutely incredible and I like the whip out of the flying snake dive it's so good it really is uh, it's not it's not any better than it was it's just what it always has been so solid of a, of a launch coaster with not just you know a launch and a drop and it does stuff which a lot of launch coasters don't do they launch and that's about it So we will do an all-day ride challenge on Storm Runner, but uh, today I don't really want to do that because I kind of want to check out the rest of the park since I really haven't been here that much. As I said, I, I visited like two weeks ago and it wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was just, uh, it, it, yeah. Anyways, so uh, we're gonna move on to Super Duper Looper. I did do that on my last visit, so I already can tell you that it's uh, as fantastic as it usually is. So, yay.
you didn't ride Super Duper Looper because uh, one train off, so that line was very long. Not the 10 minutes app said. But we rode Sky Rush and it's fantastic as usual. This pathway is uh, reopened. That's not really anything new. It's been open for a few weeks now, months. I, I don't know when it reopened. So I've been keeping up what's going on in first year. I just had no desire to really come until Stormrunner is open. And now that Stormrunner it was, uh, you know, about to open, I went and had an okay time. And now that Stormrunner is open, uh, I'm having a way better time because uh, Stormrunner's best for Coaster in the Park. Yeah, easily. Anyways, uh, we should uh, go ride some more Stormrunner because we're talking about Stormrunner. And maybe the boomerang. And maybe the comet. I don't know. We got about three hours left. Very casual visit today. As I said, we're gonna do a marathon day in the future where we just ride nothing but Stormrunner so many times we can ride it. And that should be a, a good time. All right, three more rides, absolute bliss, of course. I'm the one and only Stormrunner. Picked up a little bit of a queue line, so we're gonna go uh, take a loop back to Midway America and uh, do the woodies back there. Because why not? <laughs> Shouldn't take too long. Two rides on the Woodies, uh, I think that went pretty well. Yeah, they're both running pretty well. Wildcat's a little rough as usual, but not too bad. So I think, let's see here. Well, let's go ride Sidewinder. It is uh, 50 minutes before close. Or not, it's closed. Okay, so we did total of 13 rides today on this beauty. Mostly in the back seat, some in the front. Not a front seat ride, but uh, towards the front. So good. So uh, yeah, that was 17 rides on the day. So uh, I'd say this was a fantastic day. Uh, you know, we were only here for uh, seven hours? Seven hours. And I spent a lot of that doing all that wonderful footage that you've seen already in that montage. And uh, yeah, we'll be back on Saturday, I believe. Still be another vlog. Uh, I'm not gonna post that one right away. I'll probably give it a week or so, so we can put some space between it. But regardless, if you like what we did here and uh, wanna see more fantastic days here at Hershey Park, which I hope continue to be the trend as it was uh, terrible two weeks ago and uh, not so great last year. So I'm very happy with this visit. This is the Hershey Park that I love. Uh, I, I, there's, I, I, there's not a single thing I can complain about. Oh, okay. When we went down the Super Duper Looper, only had one train on it. Not a big deal. So, oh my God, look at that corgi. So, all right. If you want to see more of this stuff, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell while you're at it. And comment and like this video. Thank you all for 4,000 subscribers. We're building this to some kind of little empire here on YouTube, and I appreciate every one of you subscribing, viewing, and liking, and commenting. This has been Alex for the Coach Spot. See you next time.